Hey guys, welcome to another episode of All About the Music, ranking the studio albums. Today is going to be a really fun one, all about the discography, the extremely short discography. Uh, that's punk rock, the Sex Pistols. I'm going to be ranking the studio album, the one. Okay, so if you don't know, if you're not familiar, you're uninitiated, that's fine. Um, the Sex Pistols were an English punk rock group. Uh, they, they came uh, out of London in 75, about 10 years before I was born. Um, they actually started the punk scene, the punk movement in the United Kingdom, if you don't know. Uh, they were responsible for um, basically the entire wave of punk rock in the UK. And um, uh, they, they were just one of the first uh, groups doing it out there in the 70s. Um, at Johnny Rotten um, and company. So we're going to jump in to their uh, ranking the studio album. It's going to be pretty easy uh, because they have one. And we're going to take a look at that one album and discuss. Uh, it is a physical, um, it is in my physical collection. Um, I haven't, I think I probably bought, picked it up sometime in high school when I was first getting into um, into uh, the punk, well, yeah, probably sometime in high school I picked it up. This is uh, the Sex Pistols, uh, never mind the Bullocks, here's the Sex Pistols. Sort of a strange way to title an album, like, is it, uh, is the name of the album Never Mind the Bullocks, or is it Never Mind the Bullets, Bullocks, here's the Sex Pistols, or is it never mind the bullocks? Here's the, and that are here's. I don't know. Anyway, iconic cover produced by Chris Thomas and Bill Price. Uh, this one is uh, on Warner Brothers Records. Um, Warner, you know, Burbank, California, New York. Uh, this came out in '77, um, and it got a lot of great songs on here. You got. Uh, Kicks things off with Holiday in the Sun. Um, I don't want a holiday in the sun. Uh, with that sort of that, that unique uh, delivery that only Johnny Rotten can give. Uh, number two is one of my favorites. It's called Bodies. Um, sort of an, uh, a song about abortion. It's not anti-abortion. It's not pro-abortion. It's just about abortion. Um, he is incorrect in that uh, he's screaming that he's not an animal, and uh, Johnny Rotten is in fact an animal. All animals are animals, if that makes sense. Um, number three is No Feelings, uh, sort of that uh, what would come to be the classic, um, you know, um, uh, punk rock anthem there. Uh, number four is Liar, five is Problems. Uh, number six is "God Save the Queen," which uh, was a was a pretty significant song for them when this came out. Um, number seven is "Seventeen," and number eight is the if you haven't heard anything else by the Sex Pistols, you've probably heard number eight, "Anarchy in the UK." Uh, some of the band members thought that it was kind of goofy. The lyrics were stupid or particularly the rhyme where he rhymed anarchist with antichrist. Those words don't rhyme, but he rhymed them somehow. Uh, pretty fun song, right? It's when you think early punk rock, you think anarchy and the UK. Um, Submission is good. Uh, pretty Vacant is uh, one of my highlights off here. Um, New York and EMI really like EMI a lot um, the production is great really suits the uh, style of music well here's the disc you get a good good uh, look at that nice and scratched up as most of my CDs are you got this oh my goodness and then you got this same as on the back without the credits though so you get like the visual and you get this up here, which is um, at an upper right hand corner. And you get a 3147 2, 
Very interesting. Those numbers are going to be important later, of course. Uh, beautiful. Love the pink and green. You get the uh, uh, here on the back side of this. You get um, first track is three minutes and twenty seconds. It's written by all four members. Um, yeah, so you get the writing credits, the song lengths. Hmm, you got, uh, there's that again, there's that, there's that, and there's that. Ooh, kind of like that, just the green. Ooh, that would have actually been a better album cover, in my opinion. Just that classic, just green, love it. Um, so you got uh, Paul Cook, Steve Jones, Johnny Rotten, and Sid Vicious. Um, you got some uh, booklet credits, uh, Chris Thomas and Bill Price, the producers. Um, add somewhere in the booklet, 1977. Um, yeah, it's pretty pretty bare bones uh, packaging here. But this is both the best and worst Sex Pistols album, as it is the only one. Uh, they do have some compilations out there, but this is their entire studio album discography. Um, they did reunite briefly in 1996, um, but that's been about it. Um, yeah, this band, uh, you know, they really kind of changed the music scene in the UK and around the world. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's been ranking the studio album by the Sex Pistols. It's pretty great. Um, I would, if I were going to give this one its own rank, uh, I'll give it a, um, I will, I will rank this one. I'll say, okay, there's 12 songs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I give it, let's do a four star. Let's say, say five stars. Five stars uh, is the, um, the ranking category for this one. I will give it. A um, 3.9 stars. There you go. Since I didn't have any other albums to rank it with, 3.9 stars um, out of five. Boom! Please like and subscribe for the love of punk rock or something. <laughs>